And the main event, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. Everybody's aware that uh, Roman Reigns retained the title. And they did a few things that were very clever to make you think otherwise. One, obviously, is it's in, you know, the alleged home of Drew McIntyre. They had the video package. They had Drew's old music. They played it up big. Roman Reigns came out without Sami Zayn, Paul Aim, uh, Paul Heyman, the Usos. They so sh- when he came out alone, you really thought, okay, well, nobody's there. Yeah. So Th- that was the story that they wanted to tell. The was story it. was that he had nobody there to assist him. But that sh- that makes him a babyface. Well, it doesn't because at the end he did have someone there to well, assist solo. him. Yeah, but- which was the debut of Solo Sokoa who showed up, and he did get recognized. I mean, there, there was a pop when he took his, his hood off, so he showed up and yanked the referee out of the ring, which led to uh, Roman ended up... Uh, uh, they did a huge spot at the end where they kicked out of all of their moves, they kicked out of all of their moves, and then finally they're trading shots. Uh, McIntyre hits a spear, he hits the Claymore... One, two, ref gets pulled out of the ring by Solo Sokoa. So McIntyre's yelling at Solo Sokoa. Solo necks him on the top rope. Ray, uh, Roman Reigns spears him. Referee jumps in the ring, counts the uh, pin. And so uh, Roman Reigns retained the title. But they went over 30 minutes. Uh, long match. They paced it like a long main event. It was, it, was not a, it was not a match that dragged for a second. No, it was not a fast match, but it wasn't a slow match either. It was just a well-paced, long, uh, world title-style main event. And I, th- I thought the match, if, 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 aside from, you know, if, there, if there's qualms about the finish and the ref bump spot and all the, those things, the refs bu- and the ref pulled out of the ring and all, all you know, they did, they did every trope that you do. So, you know, in that sense, it was that pattern. But if you just look at the work of the two guys, timing and everything. They were great. I thought they were excellent. They were great. Yeah. And Tyson Fury was there. Uh, There was actually a great spot in the middle of the match where both guys are down. Austin Theory's music hits. Everyone goes crazy. They think there's going to be a cash in. He's running down to the ring. He he takes the belt over by the timekeeper and right or the the briefcase. And right as he's handing over the briefcase, some giant fan... (laughs) Just fucking waffled this guy, and it ends up being Tyson Fury. It was and, very uh, obvious it was Tyson. Fury. Yeah, but man, he laid this guy out, and so Austin Fury was dead, and so uh, he didn't cash in. And then after the match was over, Tyson Fury got in the ring, and even though him and Drew have been going back and forth on social media, For and years. so you think that like they're going to do a match together, which they may at some point. He got in the ring, and he put over Drew McIntyre. They sang American Pie together. Sweet Got Caroline. the fans well, to... Well, actually, uh, they didn't do Sweet they never Well, did. they tried, but it appeared Tyson Fury had no idea yeah. what he was, what song he was asking for. But they, they Sweet sang... Sweet Caroline, I mean, he would know Sweet Caroline. Sweet Caroline is like, that's the the song that they that the fans sing at yes. UK Boxing. So Tyson Fury would know that. I just He just... He didn't want to sing that one. No, he didn't. They didn't clear that one beforehand. Yeah. But anyway, they uh, they he put him over, and the fans were happy and everything like that. But I, I still think they should have changed the title. It was the uh, first uh, time in 30 years there. It was the right time, right I mean, guy, right look, country. Well, I mean, the whole deal is, is that, like, there are... This would have been the Bill Goldberg, Hulk Hogan reaction thing that you could play yes. forever and you don't get those days handed to you very often and this was one of those days so they could have done it for the show it would have been the best thing i mean obviously they have their reasons why they didn't do it they didn't do it to screw the fans or no, or this... we have no respect for you or we well when they first booked the show drew was going to be in the main event and he wasn't going to win when this was originally oh no, no 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 it was he was it, i don't think that the even the talk of him winning was was nothing until maybe at the end when kind of people cuz there were debate there were debates of it you know going in of like what should we do you know and obviously the idea but yes when this was booked when this whole summer was booked I mean, the whole thing is, is that uh, you know he beats he beats Riddle in Vegas. Rose Riddle was it Riddle? And it was either or- Riddle or Orton. And they, no, 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 they Orton went back or- and forth on which no, guy no, no, was, was going to be was, on which show. No, it was Riddle. Then it was Orton at SummerSlam, and then it was Drew in Cardiff. That was the summer, and you know, obviously Orton got hurt, so he couldn't do that. Riddle, they put it on television rather than on a pay per view because they had their reasons. And it ends up with, you know, the Drew as the big match of the summer. And but but yeah, the idea was Roman was going to beat all of them and then go to Rock 
you know, or whoever, you know, I mean, a rock's not a sure thing, but obviously it's what they're gearing for, you know, and, you know, at WrestleMania. And now we'll probably have, I mean, the way it looks to me is, you know, we got Seth, we got Owens, um, and and I and mean, we, we, we do, don't know when he's going to be back, but it could be Randy Orton. I mean, we, they've we, wanted to do that match, so got, he's we, available we got, like we, in October. He we, could be next. It could be it could be Orton, and it could be a rematch with Drew. You know, I mean, Drew can certainly talk about. Um, you know, he had him. He had him beat. Yeah. You know, and you could do the whole thing with. Well, October is also uh, Hell in a Cell, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a... And you could do... Okay, Drew but they're not doing... He's not Roman on the show. Hell in he's not on the show. He's not on the show. Oh, but, Roman's off that one? No, no. Roman's next match is Saudi Arabia. No, his next championship match is Saudi Arabia. Okay. I don't know who against, but I know it's Saudi Arabia. He's not on the Philly show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week... You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.